Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're gonna go for the rerun achievement today. That's the one where you have to do a bunch of victory laps. We're gonna do it as the lost. And there's actually a method to my madness. So, if you're gonna do the rerun achievement, uh, you need A, a very offensively strong run, otherwise you're gonna be at it for a million years. And eventually you will respawn as the lost. Uh, and if you don't have Holy Mantle, that becomes very, very difficult. So my thinking is that we'll just be the lost right off the bat. So we will have at least a, a fairly good chance to have Holy Mantle uh, when we eventually respawn as the lost. That's kind of my thinking. It may work. This was the worst. Uh, really? Four buttons and not a single one of them paid out? I disagree with this. Okay, fine. We're just gonna use the sun card right there, why not? That's pretty bad. Continue on our merry way. Okay, anyway, so that's, yeah, that's my thinking. My, th my thinking is be the lost, get strong, and uh, hopefully have Holy Mantle on our victory lap that actually has the lost. That's that's like my, my thinking here. We'll see if it works out that way, but it is at least conceivable. And if we still have Holy Mantle when we eventually respawn as the Lost, then, you know, we're set. A uh, cube of meat as the Lost is actually fine. Pretty good, in fact. I'll just kind of hang out up here over the rocks and wait for Famine to charge. There we go. Yep, charge at me. Whew. All right. Yeah, you can just chill down there. I can chill up here, and we'll all just be cool and be friends. There we go. Ball of bandages. All right, there we go. Down to the next floor. Super dark on that one, but Curse of Darkness will do that to you. All right, let's see here. Free stuff. A little bit of money. Not too bad. The arcade doesn't really do much for us as the loss, since we can't play a blood bank. There we go. And since we have Holy Mantle, I can fairly uh, confidently use my ball of bandages here to deal damage to enemies without having to worry too much about potentially dying in the process. There we go. Nice and simple. Some bombs. Item room gives us hot bombs. Okay, so that gives us essentially more bombs. And a bunch of useless stuff that we don't need. Keep going. Okay, we got hit. That's fine. We can just hang out over top the rocks. We're good. All right. And we got Monstro. Who... I wouldn't mind getting in there with the ball of bandages to do some damage that way, but uh, unnecessary. You know? That means, of course, we're going to do it anyway. But nonetheless, should be able to finish him off here pretty quick and then we're hoping for a really good deal with the devil so we can kind of get the ball rolling here all right well magic scab is a luck upgrade um sure take rotten baby take the void i mean you might as well take betrayal well why not it's not great but it's something uh and then i think we're just down to the next floor we're going to be kind of rushing here because these, the rerun achievement is just, it's a ridiculously long achievement. It just takes forever. And what we're really hoping for is to get like the shovel or something like that. Something along those lines would be quite lovely. Peek this. Yeah, not worth it. Keep going. Rotten baby is going to help us out though. Do a little bit of good work for us. Ah, I got exploded. Okay. Uh, ooh, 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 that was that was a close one game. It was a very close one. Uh, fear shot you just want to take for a damage upgrade. And I think we're mostly going to be using void for now to... Uh, well, we could void the shovel, actually. If we come across the shovel, that could be very good. That would, uh, that would kind of kill two birds with one stone. But I think for the moment, we're going to be using Void primarily 
to make bad items, you know, potentially stat upgrades for us. I think that's our best use of void. The run is, it's okay. I wouldn't say the run is good, but the run has potential. We have gotten one damage upgrade already, uh, which is good. Obviously we have Holy Mantle, you know, cause we start with it. That was close. And we're not gonna go into the cursed room until we leave to reset Holy Mantle since we got hit there. Uh, I think you take the pill. Speed down, power pill, okay, that's fine. The speed down is actually very annoying because we're our speed is pretty bad, but we can fly, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, one more. There we go. All right, what do we got in here? Flush. Uh, I mean, you could void it, but I don't think... I think I want to see our boss fight first and see if there's anything there that we'd want to void. I mean, we do have a battery charge, but we could potentially want to void, you know, our boss item. And, uh, oh, did we get fear shot on this floor? I think we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll void, um, well, actually, let's check this real quick. What do we got in here? Ooh, reroll machine. Okay. Um, it wouldn't be bad to buy deck of cards and uh, try and make that work for us. One of these two is probably, no, one of this is not a secret room. Okay. So, this must be our secret room? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was really hoping for money. We do have golden keys though, so could potentially get it anyway. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's 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 solid. I'm I'm good with this. Uh, we got golden keys, self. What are you doing? Open the chest. Or open the key thing to get the item. There we go. So, I think you buy deck of cards. You use it once. It gives you an emperor card. And then you void deck of cards. Come back. Oh, it gave us an empress card. Not an emperor card. I can't read. Apparently, reading is a skill that I have not mastered. This is fine. But we got a full void charge going into our boss fight here. And now whenever we use void, we're going to get a card out of it as well, which is, you know, pretty good. Or a rune. I th I, I, and this is actually an item that we will void for sure, because little Chad does uh, literally nothing for us as the lost. So this is fine. Uh, let's use our Empress card here just to make this fight a little less annoying. And we're hoping for damage and or tears from the void. That's that's what we want. There we go. Void, and it gave us a tears and a damage upgrade. We got exactly what we wanted, and we got a judgment card out of it too. Very nice, okay, moving on. And we did not earn a deal with the devil, which is lovely, since we'd already been in the deal with the devil. Uh, Curse of the Blind. Pretty bad. But I believe deck of cards can pay out with runes as well, I think. So we could potentially get like a Degas rune. Or something similar. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Go. What do we got in our curse room? Bunch of couple of cards. We'll see. I want to get rid of the orange fires first. There we go. That was close. Got a sun card, a chariot card. So uh, use the sun card. Pop the judgment. Blow up the judgment. To not quite guarantee a deal with the devil on this floor, but almost guarantee a deal with the devil on this floor. And then you take the chariot card with you. Clear out all of these. Whoa. That's my keyboard. Un momento. Stupid keyboard doing stupid keyboard things. I don't understand. 
I don't understand the keyboard thing. It's only Isaac. It's only Isaac that this happens. I can play any other game for hours and hours upon end, but I play, I try to record one Isaac episode and my keyboard's like, no, I quit, I'm done. That's really lucky. Okay, uh, we'll see what this is. Compost? Uh, might be worth voiding, potentially. Black market, please. Not a black market, but watch batteries not bad as a trinket. Should give us more batteries over the course of the run. And if we can get a couple of batteries on the ground, like that's that's pretty good. Uh, and actually, another thing, since our secret room is right here, let's bomb our way into the bedroom. Although we we've already seen we've already seen this, so that was because we just found our crawl space. So, not the best use, but that's okay. There we go. I don't think this run is uh, strong enough yet to be, you know, one of those runs where we can just rush and kill everything. And with Curse of the Blind? Uh, I mean, I think at this point you probably do want to avoid compost. Or maybe you want to void. Hmm. I think we'll take this. It's Yum Heart, which is completely useless as the lost. We only have four cents. So we're not going to be buying anything from the shop. There's another battery. So we should go back and void compost. Like, it's important. Probably worth doing, at least. There we go. So we void that. There's no point in voiding uh, Yum Heart. Not as the lost. We don't have hearts, obviously. So Completely useless. Uh, also, we got a two of clubs. That reminds me, we're getting cards from all this. So we should probably make sure that we're using all of the uh, battery charges on a floor. Before we leave, we're not going to worry about boss rush, although actually it wouldn't be good to make boss rush just so we can void four items potentially. Or pick up something that's amazingly good that would potentially be better than four stat upgrades, which is, you know, fairly eh, there's a handful of items that would be. Okay, take that. That's another tiers upgrade. Take this Dark Prince's crown, uh, basically useless as the lost. Use this. Gives us a lover's card, which I don't care about. Grab that battery. Pick this up. Use that again. Uh, should have used the lover's card, actually, but too late now. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Down we go. So we got a good rate of fire. Our damage is okay, but not amazing. Our speed is terrible and desperately in need of an upgrade. Yep, that's okay, that's fine. <laughs> Holy Mantle kept me safe. Come on, drop. One more, there we go. There's a battery there. Uh, we will do this. That was so not worth it. Relax. And a verp, which gives us another relax. All right, well, we learned a little bit about our pill rotation from this room. That's basically it. Not exactly the best uh, mob trap room, to say the least. Come on, I know there's another. There we go. What do we got in here? A bomb? All right, fine. We have a battery charge in the ground already. There we go. Grab this. Time-wise, we're doing fine. Like, we're, we're well ahead of schedule for boss rush. About a minute, minute and a half ahead of schedule, give or take. So, we're, we're mostly good there. I'd like to at least be able to make it into boss rush. And honestly, with uh, the void... It is, let's use this, yeah, there we go. Got a teleport card. That's exactly what I was hoping for. 
I was gonna say, we should get a teleport card so we can steal an item from Boss Rush just for free. This is an annoying room. There's a lot of enemies in this one. And not all of them are, like, super, well, you know, one-hit-one-kill enemies. There we go. There's our item room. Yeah, I got hit. All right, we're fine. What do we got in here? Is that... Pause? Eh. Probably not. Honestly, not even really worth voiding. I mean, maybe if there's nothing else to void, but... Uh, that was very bad. Took damage there I should not have. Okay. One more pin. There we go. Grab the money. There's our shop. Blow that up. What you got for me? A rules card. Completely useless. We'll peek the shop. This is a great shop. A couple of luck upgrades. And... Enough money to potentially buy some stuff. Uh, let's put a bomb there. I was going to say, I don't think that'll reach the donation machine. We will take sack of sacks. And then we will continue on our merry way. Very good shop. Blow you up. The fact that I could potentially get HP from him is uh, not so good. Not worth spending money on, you know? I mean, it's, I suppose there's a handful of things that he could give you that are actually useful. The compass, for example. But, you know, like 80% of the time, he's going to pay out with HP, which is not what we want. So far, though, pretty decent lost run. No complaints. What do we got here? Fool card? We'll take the moon card instead. Has a little bit more utility. There we go. Pop into here, Monstro 2. Okay, Monstro 2 we can deal with. Got in there with some ball of bandages action. Woohoo, careful. That beam. There we go, he's dead. We got hit at the very end, but that's fine. Magic mush is so good. All right, down we go. That's a huge damage upgrade for us. Makes us a little bigger than I would like to be, but that's okay. That's all good. Um, sure. We'll check this. All of it. And now we have, like, all the money. Ah, I got hit. I think you teleport out. I think you use the teleport card there and hope that you get another one. That's, that's like my thinking. Maybe that's the right call, maybe not. Uh, also, this is an amazing shop, considering we have Steam Sale. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here. Oh, yes, you definitely want to buy Restock. Um, you definitely want to buy Crooked Penny. And Blank Card. And you want to void both of them. Uh, Mr. Me is not worth voiding. Not after what we just picked up. Uh, we will buy Mom's Key. Nun's Habit is useless as the Lost. Uh, I'm gonna check the card. It's a Two of Diamonds, dude. With Blank Card. Blank Card, Two of Diamonds? Like, absolutely. Like, we can do this. And I'll buy the mom's box of trinkets. There's no point in voiding Diplopia, but uh, what was this? Ace of Ace of Clubs, yeah. So you take this and you go, boop. And now we have, uh, excuse me, Did, uh, didn't use the two of diamonds. Uh, wh Why did blank card not work? It appears that, uh, that that did not work as I thought it was going to. I... All right, let's try this one more time. But I 
don't think. Okay, well now it's dropping multiple two of diamonds in the ground. Which is great. Um, do we want the... I think we want the increased battery drops over the reduced charge time. Yeah. And we're, we're getting free batteries here, so... Take this. Alright. Well, let's, let's go. We need to build up some money. So that we can actually make use of two of diamonds. Oh, we got a fool card, though. So, for now, let's try and make it to boss rush. And once we've made it to boss rush, then we can teleport out and we can continue all this ridiculousness. That's what I'm thinking. Probably what I should have done to begin with, but... So, we gotta go. Uh, we don't have time to look for all this stuff right now. We're just, we're just going. Because we got basically like one minute to make it through mom. And that's a pretty tall ask, considering we haven't even seen the mom fight, and then we got to beat mom in that amount of time as well. I will stop to make the item room. We will check that one thing. Dunce cap? No. Okay, keep going. We can come back for that later if we want. Maybe we should void it. In fact, we should void it, come to think of it. Void. There we go. It gave us stuff. Okay, grab the fool card. Keep going. Ooh, it's gonna be close. We don't have time. We gotta go, we gotta go. We need a battery charge, though. Grab the battery charge, go. Mom's... Boss room is is got to be like right down here. There it is. Okay, we got like 15 seconds to beat mom. We do have a cube of meat which makes it possible. I'm dead. Dang it. <laughs> ah. I tried. I tried. That's all right. We'll try it. Uh one more time next episode. Guys, that's going to do it for this one. I know it's a little bit shorter, but uh, with the rerun achievement, eh, this video would be like three or three hours long. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.